We're here to find out if a road car MR2 can win the Deep Forest Endurance Race. I won't do it like this. There we go, now that's looking better. So let's get this impromptu GR4 race car over to the track. Heading over the start line, and I can already tell that straight line speed is not going to be the strength of this car. Now, that's kind of ironic, because I've actually increased the power of this car at the detriment of its turning. So, hopefully that actually balances that out a bit, because beforehand, man, these cars were just pulling away on the straights. We're holding our ground as we move through the first half of the track, but what we're really waiting for is this spot, right here where the AI just seems to fall apart. So, prepare to see many overtakes at this location. Heading into the final hairpin of the lap, we come across the final slow cars of the race. So, we easily take them on the inside and head on down towards the final straight, where, the only time in this entire race, we manage to take the car on the straightway. After that though, the cars start putting up a bit more of a fight. From this point on, trying to overtake a car can span multiple laps as they furiously fight to hold on to their position. So we have to bide our time and tactically wait for an opening, which is usually the same corner every lap, where we take them on the inside and shoot off down the straight for a position gain. While closing in on four, we accidentally cut the corner, and that's going to cost us a small penalty. Well. We managed to take 4th on the inside, but with this 2 second penalty, I think that's pretty much a run killer, unless we can figure out how to get that speed back. Ow! Why, thank you my unlucky guardian angel. We're back in the fight, and only just down 2 spots, which considering the penalty, ain't that bad. So, let's get to work on making up that lost ground. We make short work of 5th place, and by the first corner of the next lap, we've already retaken the position. However, the skyline that also overtook us has made some amazing progress and has pulled far ahead. So, we're going to try and pull out some consistent laps to get them at our favourite corner section. Unfortunately this lap, the skyline is still just out of our reach to make a move. But, no opponent ever lasts more than two laps without being taken on the inside and giving us the position we want. So, one lap later, we take it. From here on, we've just got to track down the podium spots. We've got third and second right in front of us, and first has just entered the pits. So, we should make short work of all of them. And as we head past the start finish line, with first in the pits, that moves us up into a podium spot. Although we've just hit a podium spot, it doesn't take us long to get up right behind second place. And we realise very quickly that this is one of the weaker cars of the race. So we're not going to have any problem taking that position from them. Which we do, at surprise surprise, the same corner. One to go. The Alpine in first seems to match our MR2 for speed. So, for the final section of this lap, we don't seem to make much ground on it. But, as soon as we come to this corner section, the distance starts to be whittled away. And before you know it, we're at our favourite corner, right behind the Alpine. And, as we make a move, we fail miserably. But, like I said before, no car ever survives two laps past this point. And here we go. Ah, fuck. You know what? Forget it. I'm just going to take you when you go into the pits. It still counts as taken first. Now that we're taken first, 
we're going to try pull up some very quick lap times to try and hold off Mr. Electric, who no doubt is going to be coming up from behind. And what do you know? There he is. Luckily for us, we do manage to pull up those quick lap times. And before you know it, he starts slowing down. Before long, he's back in the pits. That pretty much gives us the win, as long as we don't make any drastic errors. With no threats around us, we start making moves on back markers. Now, these are very important because while we get past them quite quickly, the opponents seem to have a bit of trouble and this is great for increasing our distance in the lead. However, eventually it becomes our turn to make a trip to the pits. So we get some new tyres and just enough fuel to last us the required number of laps. Now we've just got to try and get out in front of these other cars to hold on to our positions. And success! Only by a tiniest of margin though. Well, we're back in third, so only two cars to go to get back in the lead. And one of them is Mr. Electric. So you just know he's going to be going back into the pits. That means we've only really got one opponent to try and get. So, let's track him down and put this thing to bed once and for all. I cannot believe that I just did that again. Luckily this time, it's only a half a second penalty. And I can deal with that. So, let's continue on as if nothing happened. And we'll take this car at our favourite corner. Yep, I knew we wouldn't hold that for a penalty to serve. But hey, at least we know it's doable. So, uh, let's just do it again. We managed to stay behind first all the way through this corner section and that is perfect because it means we're going to be in the optimal position to make a move once our favourite corner comes around. And here it is and mine. So there we go, first place for the rest of the race, just like that. We end up coming across the line for a win on our 37th lap. Now. We're about 15 to 20 seconds ahead of second place, so that ain't bad for a road car from the 90s. Why don't we go over and check out how it's tuned. As usual, if you want to get hold of any of this information, feel free to pause, take screenshots, or whatever you need to. We really hope that you enjoy the build. anyone that's still around, thanks a lot for watching the video, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like, comment or subscribe, it really helps. Once again, thanks guys. Bye!